welcome to my channel and thank you for all your support so moving to the uh, our subscriber uh, queries so you can see there are two queries they have asked us so why the wiring harness job description requesting the matlab okay uh, matlab sim links okay and can you please help the connectivity so i'm not sure about this particular question but as i know that sim link or uh, you are asking regarding the simulation in the capital logic so i will try to address this query in a, that way if you have any other meaning you please comment again uh, on this capital logic whether you want the capital logic simulation or something different but the second sorry i cannot read your name okay uh, i am not uh, sure uh, uh, the, the name what the name okay so moving to the sunil uh, so sunil also has requested us please make a capital logic analysis video so here i think it is more clear that he wants the video on the simulation only okay so we will try to uh, address this particular query in a you know a small video of 10 minutes and i will tell you the basic of simulation what we do in the capital logic so without wasting time just move to the simulation in the capital logic so there are different type of simulation for the semantics in the capital logic okay so there are different software for that also so first software they the license they call capital semi stress so in this particular capital semi stress what are the things we calculate so wire sizing problem if is there any then they recommend the wire size also in that particular software then fuse worst condition whether uh, the particular fuse is proper for this particular current or not and they can select the new component based on the recommendation on that also suppose my fuse my current uh, continuous current suppose my 10 ampere okay one example i just give you so i told you this particular thing that how to select the fuse okay so i am just taking the uh, 1.2 of this okay so my 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 fuse value will come around 12.5 i am taking uh, 125% okay so 12.5 so i cannot go for the 12.5 i should go for the 15 amps so actual fuse would be 15 amps and suppose you have kept your fuse value around 10 amps itself okay so in this software what it will do it will throw the error that was you have given the wrong uh, fuse value that you have to correct it so this is the purpose of this particular software so whatever software for the simulation we are using that is the purpose okay then capital sim proof where you identify the sneak path detect the missing on un, uh, you know unimplemented functionality if something is there then capital sim certify is there that fme analysis to identify failure and quantify the risk and probability okay so dfma you might have heard this particular thing so this thing also you can perform by this software so these are the different different license capital sim stress capital sim prove capital sim certify and cam capital sim transient so basically it does the dc to uh, dc to transient analysis this sim transient so these all four cert uh, certification or license you cannot use okay so uh, every license is having you know particular fee so you cannot take every license so for uh, most of the oem so based on the uh, their uh, need or based on their requirement this select okay so based on what are the parameters on which you need to select the particular license so you suppose you have to calculate the wire size calculation i am talking about the wiring harness okay here so in wiring harness wire size calculation then peak current analysis or fuse blown is there voltage drop calculation any short circuit analysis fuse size analysis which i have already told so if you see all these particular parameters so based on these parameters the capital sim stress most of the oems use if they can go with the sim certified and sim proof also okay but most of the time capital sim stress we use in the capital logics so moving to the how we are going to use and what are the things we will just give you the short glimpse of this we will not go in the detail so okay so this is my simple circuit my battery here it would be a power distribution where you will be having the primary and secondary fuses and this is my secondary fuse okay i have already told you the power distribution that how this particular distribution will happen in the fuses okay you can go and search those videos and you can check how the primary and secondary fuses are selected then my second this particular fuse and then i am going to this switch okay then 
my switch is connected to my load and then it is grounded okay so this is my basic circuit and on this basic circuit suppose i want to do the analysis okay this is my requirement okay so just move to the uh, the process i'll just take one example so for one particular circuit should be divided in system and subsystem for the analysis okay system and subsystem symbols available in library with default mod models okay so there are two things one is symbols in library and other one is the models so we will see one case where we check whether this particular symbol is having the associated model or not so how to check the model model available for that particular component so suppose this is my headlamp which i have shown you here so suppose this is my load and after that i want to check this particular model this particular component is having the model or not so model and symbols these are the two things which need to be associated in the library and they should be linked with each other so how to check the model available in the uh, available for the component in library select that particular component right click analysis go to analysis here okay then go to this particular pop up here you will get there are three option attach build and edit model okay just go to the edit model then moving to the edit model then you will get whether if component builder opens and check the mode structure behavior which confirms whether working model is present for the component if model is not available in library itself then you are not having the option of edit model in library so suppose if you do not have the model itself this particular option itself will not come okay this edit model this option itself will not come when you do this edit model then you will be having some different pop ups and you will get that information what are the parameters you have to define in the model then second case what what can be the second case if symbol and model both are available suppose you have the model also and symbol also in a library but they are not linked with each other then you can link that symbol and model by that glow process so the similar process the right click on this particular component then go to analysis then go to attach okay this option would be there so by this process you can check the uh, you know you can check the attach uh, of that particular uh, symbol to the model and whether this particular symbol is having the associated model also or not so these are the two things you can check i will show you as i already told you i will just give you the short view of this so these are the uh, final result window would be like this so capital c stress you will be having results concerns then rules what are the rules you have defined on that basis then sim prove if you see capital c prove and how the simulation will display in this so you can see here that there would be a some uh, you know concerns so how it will look like that suppose uh, your door switch position is closed your posi uh, switch position is open okay then failed function of interior lamp okay so you will see this type of uh, you know concerns available when, when you run this capital uh, logics either simprove or simstress this is how this particular window will show your result whether radio function is on whether radio function switch is position off so these type of settings you will see here first and then you will see the failed function here okay so moving to the last one uh, the last slide that this particular report in capital c stress suppose you are having this result so this will so the maximum applied voltage current and power for each component node or pin in schematics so you can see here what are the uh, applied voltage on that particular point or node so this is how it will look like uh, your capital sim stress results and you can see here the concerns and you can see the rules which I, which i have told you here the interface setting so those interface setting is nothing but the rules you have applied on that so that's all uh, about the simulation uh, it has a uh, lot of things in that but as of now i just uh, stop here and thank you for asking all these question and thank you please subscribe like and comment if you find out it helpful